all right so again welcome everyone nice to see you um this is it so this is whole incomplete what happens what apparently happens is just naturally whole incomplete it's not it's not a special experience or it's not a mysterious hidden reality wholeness or something or the absolute or whatever no what happens what apparently happens is all there is and it's whole and complete it's blindly whole and complete it doesn't even know about itself being whole and complete it's so natural it's so ordinary what we talk about it doesn't it's not even recognized so to speak and um, that which believes to recognize that which believes to experience things or states or feelings or thoughts or whatever that's a dream that's the person this is what i would call the person the experiencer and what this message is also saying is that there isn't anyone it's a complete illusion and when i say it's an illusion it means it doesn't have any substance there isn't anyone experiencing anything it's just not happening right now so to speak this is not what happens um, the only thing that's on a path, again, is that me. The only thing that lives in the dream of maybe I can find something else. Maybe there is some kind of a realization, a personal realization or personal fulfillment. It's all part of that dream of there being someone. Nothing here, nothing in this whole apparent universe, so to speak, is on a path towards fulfillment. It's just part of the dream. No planet, no plant, no car, no thought, no feeling, no bone is on a path towards something else. It's just within this illusion of self-consciousness where the seeking happens. They go together. Being me and seeking for something deeper go together. That's one thing. And um, liberation in that sense, if you want to tell that story at all, uh, liberation is not something that happens for the me or within the setup of I am. Liberation is the turning out that this whole setup doesn't exist, that it's not real. No one is separate and no one has lost anything. So no one needs to and no one can find anything else. It's just an impossibility. Because the whole search, the whole, yeah, the whole seeking is a dream. No one is seeking. So, in that sense, I think that sums it up quite more or less well. <laughs> so, there is no teaching, there is no path towards wholeness, there is no one who can or needs to do anything, there is no step towards wholeness, and we, we won't take steps today. I'm not, I'm not a guide or anything. I'm not a teacher, I'm not a guide, I'm not a guru. I can't help anyone. There is no one to be helped. It's just this. Andreas, I feel absolutely disturbed by what you just said. Mm. It's so confrontational that that is absolutely the opposite of what I'm experiencing. Yes. Apparently, yeah. Well, what I'm saying, because you said it's not needed, this isn't needed. Yes. And this feels to me like it is a way to remove that energetic sense of whatever it is that, that disagrees with everything you said in the introduction. Mm. Yeah, that may be the hope of the person, that this is kind of a method or that there's a goal in this. And if and that this happens in order to bring about something, make something go away. Well, even to say that this communication has no agenda or intention has an effect because well, no, but, yeah, okay. that which feels it has an intention of getting somewhere, a very strong intention of getting meeting that boundlessness that has no intention, it does have an effect on that, that energy of intention. Well, only apparently, of course, not really. But maybe this would be what apparently happens, yeah? All right. But still, it's not part of a path. It's just what apparently happens. 
Okay, so it's just me that experiences that this is needed. Uh, yes, of course. Yeah, okay. I'm here, and it's a, yeah, yeah. I need to be, actually that's the hope, that I'm in the right place, but the person's impression is I need to be here in life, in general, in order to find something. Yeah. Well, it feels to me like the need to get somewhere is so, um, such a heavy burden or causes so much suffering. That, that is the suffering. It doesn't really cause suffering. That is suffering, so to speak. And so, unless I keep going to these meetings, <laughs> what else can I do? <laughs> well, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but you can't even do coming to these meetings. That's just what happens. But, uh, oh, well, there's no answer. What can I do? How should I be? What's the right path? Who am I? What's this about? Well, it feels like without my intention of getting somewhere, I wouldn't even be at these meetings. <laughs> well, I would put it the other way around. If you wouldn't be here, <laughs> there would be no intention. <laughs> well, I'm joking. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. No, I don't think I've got any. Oh, well, there's mm. a lot of thoughts coming up, but there's nothing left really to ask about this. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, as I said, I mean, for the person, it just feels like that. I need to be here. And of course, when there is the sense of a person, there is an intention. Uh, you can't separate those two. So, I'm here in order to, or I need to be here. I need to be in a certain way. I need to be attentive or relaxed or open or whatever in order to get something. <coughs> it's, that's one bundle, it's one thing. That's how it is when there is the sense of me. That's the experience. I'm here and I'm separate. I need to be here and I need to be here in the right way in order to find something. So you don't need to be here? I'm not here. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Which is ridiculous because I'm convinced you are. Yeah. <laughs> well, only because you're convinced of me being here doesn't mean that I'm actually here. So There is no one here. And uh, well, if you want so, this body, so to speak, isn't here for a reason. For a deeper reason, one could say. I've projected a reason onto why I think that body's here, which is to help. Yeah, hoping that this whole thing is about something deeper. Something that can't be seen. Something like fulfilment or enlightenment or self-realization. or Something deeper, something that the person just invents. It can't be seen. The, the things that the person is looking for, they can't be... They are just assumed. Value and sense and purpose and... Fulfillment, personal fulfillment, stuff like that. It just hopes that it's there and that it, what happens is about this. That my life is about finding this thing. But if there wasn't a reason for that body being here, you, why would you leave Germany to come on a flight and then, I don't know what happened after the flight, if you got a train or whatever, to come to Brighton to talk to us? Yeah, it doesn't make sense, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Does make sense. <laughs> well, it's good to see you. <laughs> Apparently. <clears throat> yeah. Andre, so this is all for nothing. Mm, yes. Yeah. The whole apparent universe, if you want so. It kind of feels like, if, it, if it's for nothing, then why is exactly. it happening? Well, it's not really happening even, so to call it this is happening, but for nothing, is already kind of a story. Because there isn't, uh, this isn't something that's really happening. So, in a way, those assumptions all go together. This is something, okay, what for? Or where does it come from, or stuff like that. But it's not even really something.
I think what's just hitting me now is how like <coughs> this message just doesn't recognise that there's a me that needs to be helped at all. At all, yeah. And that's deeply unnerving. Un unsettling. Oh totally of course. To not even be recognised. Yeah. In the end that's the least thing the person wants to be seen, to be recognised. By itself and by others, by some by life in the end. Please see me. Please see me and my suffering. Give me an answer, help me out. <laughs> and there's just nothing there even here in the It's like the way the person wants to make deals in life, like with relationships or um, success or whatever. Yeah. You can't make a deal with this communication. Uh, yes, and you uh, actually you also can't make a deal with all the other things. It, that's the thing, it never works out. Yeah, you can't make a deal with life, you can't... In the end, you can't use life. I think the person wants to use everything in order to find something deeper. Friends, jobs, situations, everything, <laughs> feelings, thoughts. He wants to use it, he wants to use this, this moment. But it does in work. order to find something, and it never works. It works for a period of time, and then you have to just switch what you're doing. No, it doesn't even work for a period of time. It's an illusion <laughs> that it works <laughs> at all. It really feels like it does work for a bit. When, when you <laughs> discover something new to try, it feels like it works for a bit, and then it stops working, and then you try something else. No, that's the thing, it doesn't work at all. It, it might work in a sense that you get what you think brings about fulfillment, but it never brings about fulfillment, not for a second. So if you think feeling good is fulfillment, you manage to feel good for a while, but it never works in a sense of actually bringing fulfillment. <coughs> not one split, se a split second. Yeah. It never works. That's painful, but... Thank you. But the brutality, like that, that hurt. It, it doesn't work to bring the ball. Yeah, seeking doesn't work. Not at all. Well, because you're, the objectives you're creating aren't real, so it can't work. But on the one hand, the things that the person believes to experience don't even exist as such, yeah. as separate things, mm -hmm. states, feelings, whatever. And they are empty. Yeah. And the things it thinks it needs, the goals, whatever it's trying to use life for, it's created, so of course it can't work, because so they don't exist. They don't even really exist, for some Yeah, so, how, how could they? And they might half the time, the other half they don't, so they don't work, right? They seem to, or you create a story that makes them <coughs> seem like they work. Exactly, but it always feels as if it's not enough. Yeah. So the person's conclusion from not having found fulfillment yet is, ah, it wasn't enough. It was not enough money, enough insights, enough... Un I do understand it, and that feels nice. It just wasn't understanding enough to be fulfilled. But it never worked. Not a single bit. But the whole world, the whole, if you like, UG Christian mind, he calls it the, the world mind, the whole message we're shown by society is that it does work, it can work, buy this thing, do this, do that, it will give you all the... So there's this constant message that it does work. So it's not just your illusion that's creating it. Well, there are other inputs, right? You know, we're not imagining that on our own in a cave. There's a, there's a seeming universe telling you that as well, right? Well, there's a it's seeming not real. society. Yes, society actually, it's not even it's a, not the universe. It's just <coughs> humans. So sure, sure, you're right. The, yeah, the, yeah. The, the but of do course, it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just most people seem to yeah. experience themselves as someone, so that's constantly mirrored. Yeah, and basically that's what means do. Hey, you're a me. Yeah, I see you. You're a me too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So what is happening is, is a sort of misleading, really. There's, there's nothing happening. Uh, there's nothing happening. But that's why there's also no real misleading. Because there's... Oh, yeah. So nothing happening is fulfillment. <laughs> yes. 
So that means I wasn't late. <laughs> <laughs> trying to use this message yes, that's yeah. what we just talked about <laughs> right. when you weren't here okay. <laughs> but I wasn't anywhere that's yeah. why what is happening is misleading isn't it because it wasn't late but it happened I told him we all got it in the first five minutes and he missed it <laughs> I, I, I facilitated that by not being here <laughs> thanks mate yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it felt whole and complete somehow. <laughs> and I've broken it now. <laughs> Andreas, is there something that wants to hear this message? Like, not the person? Mm. In a way, because it feels to the person like cold and brutal, or it can do, and it does to me sometimes. But somewhere it's like, thank God I'm not being lied to. <clears throat> Well, yeah, if you want so, that's what apparently happens. Wanting to hear this message, coming here, going to a training. Yeah. In a way, it's almost like the fact that, I was going to say you, but it's not you, the fact that the message doesn't care how we feel about it. It's like, yeah, I know you probably, you probably wouldn't call it the truth, but it's in a way obvious that it's not misleading or it's not... Offering anything? Yeah, well, one could say so, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And anything oh, yeah, that course. offers something like a path of a solution is misleading then, isn't it? In that sense, kind of. Not really, of course, because there is no goal really, but in, in that sense, yes. Because it's constantly pointing out that there is someone who could, who has lost something. And needs to be given, yeah. Yeah, of course, but this is, in that sense, already uh, only step two. Step one is, I'm here and something is missing. And of course, every recognition of, yes, that's true, you are someone, confirms that. And that just isn't anyone. It's just not true. I'm here and I've lost something. It's just not true. It's not happening. There's no one here who has lost something. Sorry. Yeah, but I still... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now you're mind reading. <laughs> 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 well, I went to a um, talk, a neuro, it's like a neuroscientist who's doing some research, and he talked a bit about consciousness and all the rest of it. And he, um, he said that the, the neuroscientists reckon that there's a part of the brain called the default mode network that creates this illusion of, of me. And of course my mind goes, oh, oh okay, found it, great. <laughs> <laughs> How can we cut that out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's nice. laughs> going for a bit. But I mean, I, you know, I don't, presumably it's, you know, it's, I know what they found or what they, everyone's mm. desperate to find. Some to find it, I, I think it's just an explanation yeah. they don't know actually. Yeah, yeah. It's funny how I spotted my, my, my own brain kind of going, oh, <laughs> at last they've got the... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, as far as I know, they have no clue. Mm. <clears throat> and then why, why is there anything that arises in this emptiness at all? So, so why are there images and when I, when I look out, I see myself, I walk mm. through myself, I, I speak to myself. Um, so why is it not that it's just dark or empty? Oh, there, there is no answer to this. But actually, uh, there isn't something arising in the emptiness. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, yeah, one can't go there, but this isn't something that, arise, that arose, that is now here. So the, there is, this impression comes from the person, so to speak, mm -hmm. because the person's impression is, I am here, I arose, I manifested, I became something, mm -hmm. and actually that, that's what it projects onto everything. This is somehow here. 
maybe only even as an appearance or something. Mm. But there is the sense of emptiness is something else than, and why is this here? Mm. But this isn't here actually, this is the emptiness. This is the blackness, is which it just isn't black. Appearing in form? Again? Appearing in form? Sort of manifesting in form? Or? No. No, actually, this is formless. That's the thing. It seems to be in form only if someone is looking at it. If there is some experiencing of this. But this experience already is formless. The, the, this isn't something. And then this whole impression that there is something happening. It's, it's just part of the dream. And then... And then there is no answer to why. So in terms of other people and interactions, it's very much felt like everything's happening in me, with a capital M, like in the self. In the in awareness. In awareness, in consciousness, in God. Yeah, like yeah. Everything's happening in that. Yeah. But then... <laughs> Is that right? Or, or right? I mean, oh, well, no right, but it, it, it's, it's amazing because it's like... <laughs> well, that, it, it, yes, it is right in a way, on the one hand, that that's just what apparently happens, but what this message is saying is that exactly this awareness mm. isn't real either. But in a way, this is the person's awareness. Mm. I am everything. I am all there is, me, and I am awareness, and yes. everything happens within my awareness. Of course, that's actually the personal experience. It's kind of very spiritual, but in the end that's how the person experiences. And it can really feel like this. The, all of this is awareness, or all of this is just happening in me, or for me. Mm. Yeah. And that's not true? Uh, no. <laughs> well, well, true. This, uh, the, this awareness isn't real. There isn't anything which you are. It's exactly this impression that there is a me. It doesn't matter if it's a, a human individual or this this huge awareness or that everything is or that is bigger than the things that uh, appear in awareness, but this awareness isn't real. And then there is no one and then there is nothing that's experienced. So would it be the sense of there's nothing and everything at the same time. Yes, but there wouldn't be a sense of this. What is, would just be everything and nothing. Okay. I yeah. said, say sense more because... Um, yeah. yeah, we it's can't... It's language, isn't it? Yeah, we can't really go there. Yeah, that it just... Then, it just is like that. Yeah. Whatever that means. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But the thing is, when you ask, is that right or wrong? Of course it's not wrong, because if that, that's the impression that's going on here, it's not wrong. It's just what apparently happens. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But then with other people, it's been a bit like... When that understanding hasn't been... <laughs> Which other... Yeah. Many um, people would say you're enlightened, actually. You realised you, who you are. Awareness. Pure awareness. <laughs> but you wouldn't... <coughs> oh, well, that's a dream. That there is a self that this could realise itself. This, well, this coming yesterday was... But I wouldn't call anyone enlightened. There so. is no enlightenment. Yeah, exactly. It's part of the dream. But yeah. That would be self-realisation. Right. Uh, um... But, but in terms of the other people, it would be that um, so my brother's on this path, this path, <laughs> if you like. <laughs> um, and there's a sense of like, if he doesn't exist, in terms of he is just in my imagination, really. Um, Within your we're awareness. Same. We're the same. Yes. So, so if, if self-realisation was to happen, it wouldn't be a self-realisation here and a self-realisation there, because that's still like identifying with... 
kind of feel like that's where I'm at at the moment. It's like this has happened, but it still happened to this. Yeah, because uh, because it's just another personal experience. Mm -hmm. There is no self. That that is the illusion. In the end, I would say this is the illusion mm -hmm. that there is a self, no matter in which form, so to speak, mm -hmm. if it's realized or not realized or okay. totally lost in the story or just in a way having realized itself, being pure awareness. It's all the same dream. There's no God. Exactly, and there is no one in the first place. Who could even imagine or God or no God or whatever. And that's the thing when this drops, as you say, it's exactly this experience which creates the separation. That's what separates you from your brother or from everything else. But when that drops, there is no separation anymore between me and the floor, between me and you, between me and the thoughts, between the thoughts and the feelings, between anything. It's just everything and nothing. And the only thing that creates this illusion of separation is the me, the self. Again, no matter if it's pure awareness or all that stuff. Yeah. So what words would you use if you were to... Because I mean, I've been following a lot of Ramana Maharashi and... Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of talk about the self and um, the dream, and I found that language very useful. Uh, uh, the self. What I would so say. What words? Because you're saying that you can, you, there's not even the big awareness or the self. Uh, exactly. Well, all there is is no thing. What apparently happens is no thing. I think that's what he would call this. He, he's not quite, actually, well, he's not, well, yeah. I think it's not quite clear in his teachings mm -hmm. or in his writings, mm -hmm. because sometimes he, he calls the pure awareness the self, mm -hmm. but this is the experience of I am, and sometimes he calls what I would rec call no thing or the natural reality, that sometimes he calls this the self too. Mm -hmm. So I... For me, it's not quite clear always when I read him, so to speak. Okay. Okay. Because some things very clearly point to what's being said here, and uh, other things he's caught up in this awareness stuff. That's my impression. Mm -hmm. But it's hard to say. I think he was speaking for 30 or 40 years and then you get those five books out of it. I mean, but, mm, whatever he meant, really. So. Mm. Andreas, whenever a person attacks this message... Attacks? Well, like me disagreeing or like I'm trying to challenge or find holes or whatever. That's just the person trying to fight for survival that I do exist. At the end of the day, is that all it is? Yeah, one could say so, yeah. yeah. Why does the person need reality, like, for there to be something really going on? In the end, it is reality. It is the sense of reality. And it needs reality in order to really find something. So for the person to hear, well, it can't hear, but to be told that this is nothing, mm. this isn't real, and that's unsettling because it then gives it nowhere to move, but it still has that sense of needing to... Yeah, one could say so, yeah. Yeah. And as I said, it's actually unsettling, or it can be unsettling, because it contradicts its experience. But its questions are its fight for existence, right? <laughs> it, it, it literally is fighting for its existence, you know. Of course. Yeah. That's, that's it. There's more to say about it. That's what it's... <laughs> to disagree, <laughs> to, to challenge what you're saying, it's saying, no, I exist. And it, no, I am here. It will never let yeah, go. Okay. It, can, it um, can't let go. It can't let go. Yeah, yeah. All it can do is hang on to itself. It's self-perpetuating, right? Exactly. It's all it knows. It's all... Yeah, I am. That's all it's got. Yeah. And you're the destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... I'm, 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 not <laughs> I'm not doing anything. If, if, this is, if this is unspoken for business, if it is, yeah. what leads you to talk about it? Oh, nothing leads <coughs> me to talk about it. It's 
It's just what apparently happens, for no reason at all. Honestly, and theoretically, it could be anything. It could be... There's, no one is doing this. Because if you say that uh, in the world, just mm. people, people walking, talking, and suddenly somebody starts talking about the message. Mm. Just curious as to, because what is happening is misleading, but somebody just starts talking about the message, which is unspeakable. Yeah, yeah, I have uh, no idea. In the end, I started the talks in the moment where I had nothing to say anymore at all. And that totally not logical. There was no experience of, hey, great, I got it, now I can start talking. No, I'm, it was gone. I never, I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't have to say anything anymore, neither to others nor to myself. But it, start, it was what happened, but for no There's reason. no sort of sense that maybe people might, could benefit from this. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've never gone that far. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. I mean, benefit in a sense, what the person would regard as a benefit, namely to create more wholeness. I mean, that's the hope of the person. Benefit for the person would be if afterwards there is a real better, there is creating more wholeness, and you can't create more wholeness. You can't, it, it's impossible. So you're speaking is totally pointless, really? Absolutely. Like everything, it's not yeah. especially pointless. It's encouraging, really. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not especially pointless. It's just equally pointless than anything yeah. else, than any teaching, than any anything. That's the freedom. There's no point in this. There's no point in life. There's no point in anything. I'm not saying that's wrong. It's just like it's, yeah. like, it's quite freeing, actually. Exactly. <clears throat> and there never was a point. In the end, it's a hope of the person. It's not even what's happening. Yeah. But you had like a, maybe an urge to like no. start something. Oh, not really. Passion or something. No. 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 An impulse. Well, yeah, of course, in the story one could say the, the idea popped up to do that, but not really. There was no, in that sense, no feeling of an impulse. Why? Well, yeah, you've got to do... It really just was what happened. Yeah, because it's quite a funny thing to like, start something and then not actually say anything. From the beginning, you're not saying much, you know, anyway, so to start kind of a meeting or a Zoom stuff and not really say anything, mm. you know, it's quite a... Funny, funny thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but in the end it was like that with that. It's like that with everything, you know. Um, getting up in the morning, having breakfast, uh, going to the toilet, going to work, doing this. It's, uh, there never is someone doing it for a reason. All of that just is what apparently happened. Yeah. So it's it not happens. that this is especially absurd or weird. It's just this sitting here and, and talking but it it could also be sitting in, in a car and driving you know it's not yeah, that one no thing is one is more normal one's less normal exactly and one makes more sense yeah, than the other less. no nothing of that makes sense anyway so that's what I mean it's very it's just what apparently happens mm. so ending up dancing at 2.30 in the morning in Brighton is just formlessness <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite sure that's how it looked also. <laughs> quite formless. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> no one is doing it. Yeah. <laughs> no <way>. <laughs> <laughs> Which maybe also was quite yeah. obvious. Yeah. Did you, 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 you realise you were involved in something that was formless? Last night. Yeah. I have no awareness of last night. <laughs> <laughs> no memory. But, uh... <laughs> of course, this is for
I'm trying. It's not. It's not actually formless. This is formless. It's not that there is some mysterious formlessness hidden somewhere. This is formless. Yeah, Chris said before about the person can't let go, and that struck me quite a bit because that's what it is. It's constantly going on and on and on and on. Um, okay. So when that <clears throat> sense falls away. Obviously, there's no experience of not being attached to everything, but there's just no longer any of that attachment or any of that need. Yeah, one could say so. I mean, experiencing is the attachment, so to speak. This is my experience. I'm here and I'm aware of this. This is my life. And of course, kind of needing it in order to make more experiences and find fulfilment. The person's always going to see that as someone who is free. <coughs> uh, yes. A kind of. But there is something here that is free, fulfilled, has found. No longer holding on or trying to wrestle with No longer hold Whatever. All those spiritual ideas. Mm. And in that formlessness, which isn't form, there's seeing and hearing. And uh, no, seeing and hearing is the formlessness, or is formless. Yeah. There that, isn't formlessness form, and something in there. That's the thing. That's just what happens, apparently, and that is formless. It's not something. One could also no. put it like that. Sitting in a room in Brighton is not something. That is, that happens, that is now here, that is experienced. Yeah, you can't break it down to seeing, hearing. It's no, you can't break it down, exactly. <laughs> it's just... That's what the person has to... Ah, oh, okay, there's just seeing going on. Ah, uh -huh, there's just sitting going on. No, you can't break it down. You can't... There is no truth. So it's, it's neither very complicated nor very simple. There's no simple truth. So you, you're saying it's the formless, it's just, it's empty, you say that. By being this, it is empty. It is empty, but Tony always, sorry to quote Tony, but you don't mind, he always says, but it's also everything, so it's full. So while it's nothing, at the same time, it's still everything, and therefore it's full. So it's, not, it's empty fullness. So it's yes. nothing, it's formless. Yes, that's, that's what I mean with this is empty, by being this. Yeah. It's not there is this, and actually it is empty. Yeah, it's... This yeah, is empty. It's not two things, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and one could say by being empty, this is full on itself. Yeah. It's not this and an essence in it. Yeah. It's not sitting, sitting in a room and an intention. Yeah. It's just full on, totally this. So when you got your, your things like you did, yeah. which is the this yeah. that you're referring to? What? Which is the this you're referring to? No, I'm not referring to anything specific. Yeah. It's this. But you can't refer to this because it's inexperience. It's not something. I'm not pointing to something. <laughs> so there's no particularity. Exactly, yes. But one could also say, when it said this is nothing, one could also say nothing specific. Wholeness, the natural reality, is not this, or this, or this feeling, or this situation, or this moment, or... It's nothing, yeah, specific. And on the other hand, what happens, what apparently happens, is everything. So there's no, as uh, that phrase from scriptures or, or from writing, there's no scandal of the particular. Scandal? It's a no. phrase. Yeah. Yeah, there are no things. There's no scandal. Describing the, this as the scandal of the particular. Yeah, exactly. That's what the person would live in. Awareness, yeah. focus on, aha, uh -huh, it's this. Ah, uh, this is going on right now. Aha, uh -huh, this is the reality right now. I'm, I'm experiencing this room. That is turning it into something yeah. in particular. 
It's this. Aha. The reality is this. Mm -hmm. I can know this. That's the dream. Perfection. Yeah, um, yeah, blind perfection already, constantly, all the time, timelessly in the end. But yeah. Yeah, but it's perfection, but at the same time, even if it's really crap and really awful, it's perfect in that, right? So. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a. So, horror, complete horror, you know, war, pestilence is perfection. <laughs> yes. But for no one, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. But surely it's not perfection at the same time, isn't it? <clears throat> Again? It's not perfect and it's not imperfect, is it? Exactly. It's a blind perfection. It has nothing to do with the goodness that the person it makes it something, doesn't it? So to speak, yeah. Yeah, yeah on the, uh, yes, uh, totally. You're totally right. On the other hand, it's kind of a surprise that the sense of something is missing here, that this, this, this thing that there is something not right that this could just collapse and just not be oh, so yeah, yeah. it doesn't collapse to anything it, just it doesn't exactly it doesn't yeah. collapse to anything or yeah. leaves behind a sense yeah. of perfection yeah. or oh, well, it's so great yeah. oh, is this perfect kind of but that's gone, why I sometimes no yeah that's yeah. why I say it's a blind perfect mm. But mm. it's the ultimate for goodness by no one <laughs> yeah. Yes, if you want to, yes. There, there never was anyone doing something. Mm. <coughs> there's nothing to forgive then, is there? Hmm? There's nothing to forgive. Exactly, yes. Because <laughs> that implies there was something to forgive. What? That implies there was something to forgive in the first place. You know, I've been bad, therefore I'm forgiven. Yeah. yeah. So. So walking in the room, tennis face, is perfect, yeah. Yeah, I have to admit that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was perfect for no one. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been perfect if you had come with me and you were ten minutes late as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Actually, you were twenty minutes late. <laughs> ten minutes late was me already. Oh, okay. <laughs> so aware that you can't think yourself out of this mm. but we're all trying to do it we're trying to reason in the separation in this illusion that we think we are we're trying to almost within it get to a point where it reasons itself out of itself <laughs> and it's just ridiculous <laughs> to try and think yourself out of the illusion so you're using thinking itself mm. to break thinking so you're trying to break, yeah, the only tool is the thing you're using to break it with. You're mm. trying to break it with itself, you see what I mean by that? Yes, yeah, but I wouldn't even call it, it thinking, it's experiencing. Experiencing, okay. Uh, and the person Reasoning. can't unexperience itself. Yeah. That's a, yeah, of course. And that's what we're all trying to do. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> kind of, yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah. So how does it happen? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the stage, I mean, this is a stupid question, but I mean, basically what Chris is saying is that um, you're, you're trying to reason the way out of it. But it's just like... For what, in, in the language of, not the language of not yeah. reality. It, oh, it's it's just, happened to it, you, how does it happen? It's just like falling asleep. In the evening. I just fell asleep over two years. You what, you fell asleep over two yeah, years? Yeah, and I, did, and I never woke up again. Mm -hmm. That's liberation. The person would call this death. <laughs> but I didn't do it. And all the attempts, all the seeking that was going on, was trying to stay awake for longer. 
Okay, so the sea king was fueling it. Oh, oh yeah, there's, there's like separation. <laughs> <laughs> those, those were my last two years, so to speak. Uh, uh, here and now. Uh, 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 sea king, what? Uh, uh. Is it a sort of change in, I mean, this is a stupid question, but a change in perception. But when, when a glimpse has occurred for me, it's just something happened, mm. some movement mm. that changed my sort of, or yeah. whatever. Can't describe it in the terms that you describe it, but something happened or didn't happen. That's the thing. I can't. I can't. I really can't say more. And or, or this was already, uh, this was already a story. But there is no afterwards. There's no more afterwards. Yeah, exactly. There is no. It has happened. There is no nothing left. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like in deep sleep. There's no one in deep sleep saying, oh, that feels great. I'm so happily sleeping. And in that sense, me, me talking to you is just snoring. <laughs> it's as useful as... <laughs> <laughs> It's me asking at night, hey, how, how is it? How is it being open? <laughs> you say it's like uh, going to sleep. Could it also be described as waking up? I wouldn't say so. Well, <clears throat> on, yeah, no one wakes up. Of course, when you say the person is a dream and the collapse of the dream, instantly there can be the picture of waking up, of course. So it's not like waking up out of life? I don't really like the word waking up because it sounds as if something new began, a new experience, a new way of being. And you feel, yeah, yeah. In that sense, there's nothing here that experiences itself as awake in that sense, mm -hmm. as a certain experience or state. Mm -hmm. But of course it is, in, if you want to have a story, the end of the dream of being someone and the, yeah. and the seeking in stories and feeling. In, uh, well. The end of the dream of the waking state. As I say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it like that because there is no state left. Mm. That's the thing, that this would be, kind of, again, almost create a separation. I don't feel awake in contrast to others being sleeping. Mm. This whole thing doesn't make sense anymore. And like, as the wall or the carpet isn't in a state of awakeness, there's no special state here. I'm just not, I'm just like everything else, or this body. It's just what apparently happens, like everything else. Not doubting, not seeking, not holding back, not forcefully expressed, not living in the sense that the person experiences itself. I'm here, I'm awake. In the end, the person is awakeness. I'm here. Well, I'm aware. And and that's the dream. Uh, to no one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So no one knows that a body appears. It's just what apparently happens. So then how about like <clears throat> something that's been a bit more of a hurdle is like the idea of looking through the eyes so the, the, the there is no one sitting behind the eyes who is looking yes. through the eyes but then why does the dream the dream appears to come through um, this body I guess that's just the appearance I don't really know what you mean right now so I guess it's just the um, the angle at which everything's looking at itself. Perhaps that's the imagination of what other bodies are looking My at. Say, yeah, but all of that is just yeah. what apparently happens here, yeah. which which can't be answered or doesn't make sense. It just is yeah. exactly as it is. You sitting there looking here, I'm sitting here, uh, this sitting here looking there. But this is just blindly what apparently happens. And in a sense, then it's not, 
I guess it's the mind trying to figure out how that looking over there is looking at this and this is looking at that like there would be another point of view. Exactly. But, but exactly. It's looking at its, everything's looking at itself. Everything is itself. Yeah. I'm not looking at something. Everything is itself. The sitting here, the looking, the seeing of you, you seeing me is undivided itself. And really when one looks, there's only a looking into the illusion, into the imagination. Well, the thing is, one could say the person has the impression to sit behind the eyes and somehow to experience through the senses, so to speak, a, a separate reality. Mm -hmm. But it's exactly that which says, I'm, I'm in here, but that, that's not real. And that's the only position. And from this position, you start, so to speak, imagining how is it for me, how is it, mm -hmm. what you just said, certain viewpoints. But this first viewpoint isn't real. There is no one. Mm. Mm. And that's also the only thing which has the experience of looking at something and seeing something. But without that, I'm not looking. There isn't anything here which has the experience of looking. Like... And then what, why does consciousness want to do this? So why not nothing? Like it's a miracle that there's something. Yeah, but there isn't something. But, but the, 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 there's, there's, there's apparently something. But that's theory now. No one knows this. It's already... Oh, but mm. When there is no one, there isn't the experience of this being something. <laughs> It's again only this this I which says I'm something and I'm seeing something. Without this, nothing experiences itself to be. There's nothing there which could say, but this is something. And when I say it's a dream, I actually mean it's not happening. So the person saying to itself, I am, but I exist. No, no, there is nothing existing. And in the reality, I've had an, an image of it or a feeling of like darkness. Mm. And just, that's the only way I can describe it, I guess, mm. is like um, emptiness. But it's just it's being dark. Like you walk into a black room and then everything is just appearing then. And this is what's appearing. But behind this is the blackness. Mm. So I'm, I'm, I think I'm seeing things, but it's just all black, actually. Well, I can't... Well, like in deep sleep, there is actually no experience. Right. So in the end, there isn't even darkness experience. But it wouldn't be like... It wouldn't be the visual experience of, oh, I'm seeing darkness. But it's like a... Um, <laughs> yeah. The language stops there, yeah. but it, uh. it, Everything is... It's just appearing in nothing. Like on a TV. Everything appears on the TV and this is just all the TV. Like yeah, the but even this TV. even this collapses. So even the background collapses? Absolutely. That those are told that there's a background and that <coughs> there's a surface. It just melts into complete unknowingness. And I know apparently, I, stay, I take it back the moment I say it, and apparently it can be this, and apparently it can be deep black or whatever, but actually there is nothing which can make a distinction between those two. Again, this distinction, yeah, but there is, it, it's colour here now, it's not, but again, it would only be the me mm. being able to make this distinction even between this and deep sleep. Mm. It's not separate. There isn't even something there which could say, yeah, but now it looks like this. No, it doesn't look like this. It's inexperienced. It's the same blackness, so to speak. And from my experience, it hasn't felt sudden. Like, it hasn't felt like a sudden collapse. Mm. It's felt like a gradual chipping away with, yeah. with kind of more shifts and more glimpses and like, but then you said it was usually sort of sudden. 
Well, sudden, my sudden was two years. Okay. But so that's not, that's not sudden though. What? As in like, I think... <laughs> <laughs> but I think what I've had in, in the in mind... In eternity, is, that's quite sudden. No, <laughs> what I've had in the mind is like a... As you said, just like a, you know, that and then... Yeah, but one... Uh, I mean, nothing really happens, but if you take those two years, there still was an end. And the end is always... So that would be the sudden... So to speak, one could say so. Uh, Which isn't experienced anymore. It's actually... There isn't a moment of a sudden dropping, but at one point, so to speak, there's just nothing there anymore. And until then, there is kind of the illusion of a process. The illusion to be alive. In a way, for the person, life is a process. And even dying is just part of life. So death, the yeah. end, in, if you take that story, is sudden only. And in that process of then battling with the, the, the sort of glimpses, if you like, coming and, and the, the hold of the person loosening. Um, how is that, how's that negotiated in terms of... Oh, it's just completely happening by itself. And seen from the person, it's, it, it, seen from the person that's just part of its experience. Because I can see now the mind trying to... and the person trying to, you know, build back on. Oh, yeah, of course. So... Just surrender? <laughs> well, there is no one. That's just what apparently happens, and there is no answer to this. Mm. There's no... Because that's all happening in the dream still. Uh, I wouldn't call it... A, well, the dream would be that this is something that really happens, and it's not fulfilled yet. That would be the only dream. So the dream of it having glimpses and, and um, <coughs> had it then lost it, that's all still part of the dream, because there's nothing to have or to lose. Exactly. So on the one hand, it is what apparently happens. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, the person would turn it into something that happens to me, mm -hmm. and again need, needing an answer for me. <coughs> Saying, well, coming and going, this can't be it. Mm -hmm. It's the one who wants to surrender, which is the dream. So there's a difference between surrender and liberation, between those two words. Oh, well, uh, yes. Because couldn't surrender be liberation? Well, you could, you could also call this surrender, <laughs> but it's not, it's death. Death, yeah. Liberation is death, but it's not someone doing it, or it's not the me surrendering. But surrender can happen without a me, can it? Yeah, but it would be death. Yeah. Then, if it would be liberation, it would just be yeah. death. The end of one's own presence, so to speak. So, in this message, where does the word dream come from? In it didn't. I, 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 I've struggled to understand what dream means in this con means in this context. Dream illusion. It's not happening. <coughs> but this illusion it, seems better. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Actually, just, just, just say for uh, entertainment reasons. Well, I, to not repeat myself so often. So but I, the word dream and story seems to be. Because the illusion is pretty active. Active? Well, I'm not, I don't know in reality, but... Well, it just really feels like that. I'm here, I'm alive. Yeah. This it's is real. Active, it? It's about something. Well, not really, because it is what apparently happens. That's the thing. There is no real illusion. I think that's something that's ungraspable. So when I say the me is an illusion... The person wants to know, okay, there is this illusion going on. What's, what is this? Mm. But it actually means it's not there. The me. Yes. 
in that sense there's also no dream of me. That there is something autonomous going on in you, a me, a me illusion, whatever, doesn't happen. There isn't a me in anyone. And there also is no me illusion in anyone. Well, there's no dream. Yes. The dream is that there is a dream in the first place. There's just what apparently happened. No one's lost. No one is lost in a dream. No one will wake up from a dream. It's just this, exactly as it is. And what's apparently happening isn't happening. Exactly. That's what this apparently tries to point to. It's not something that happens. Or it's real and unreal. It's formless and form. Simultaneously, not as two aspects. So any description is misleading. There is no description. It's only an apparent description. Mm. There is no, no, no description of this. There is no description on how it really is. Because there is no how it really is. Before, but I'll see if you come up with the same answer. So, so what? <laughs> I was to say, it's fantastic. I don't think it's relevant, sorry. So, what, what would you call this? Because yesterday I said mystery, that one didn't work. I mean, if I said, what is this? What, what there is no say? this. There isn't anything here which could even comprehend the question. What are you pointing to? This? So, you're already in an experience. There is no this. Or is yeah, but what is this? But what? Hey? What? So, what's this? What's happening? This whole concept of something happening is part of the dream. Happening. There is no happening. There's only an apparent happening. But no one knows that. But nobody knows that. It's not another sentence that one can say to oneself, so to speak. I think you said no thing before. Yeah, that's no thing. Yeah. What is this? It's no thing. Yeah. Because that's, that's almost saying what you said, but in a cut-down version, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But the person would still have the impression, ah, it's no thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, no thing's a concept, isn't it? So, For yeah. The first, yeah. It, but it satisfies, it gives something. Yeah. No thing, saying no thing is no thing. While the person <laughs> thinks it's trying to say something on about how it really is. Ah, okay. Actually, it's no thing. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. There's no this or is. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or I, I quite like it is what it is, really, because it sort of just turns the question around back on itself. What we talk about is a total blind reality. It doesn't even have a clue about it existing. Sitting in a room in Brighton doesn't have any idea of its existence. Oh, okay. So like we said yesterday, to ask the question breaks it, is creating the 10,000 things. So the, to ask the question, what is this, is already reducing it. The thing is... Segment, to... Segmenting it in a way. Well, that which asks the question already has the experience of being. Yeah. It's so not it's broken. Thing I'm not going to say it's broken it, but I can't think of another term. But mm. yeah, okay. And it's obvious, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, well, obvious. Yeah. Well, yeah, but to who? Exactly. So obvious <laughs> is. I wouldn't. Call it obvious. It just is like that. But well, it's some not people process. describe it when, when they when they liberate it, they say well, they realise it was obvious or sort of day not day, but Yeah, I understand. Yeah, it always is like that. It always and was I'm just like curious that, that the, it's so obvious the me doesn't get it. The me can't can't I can't even get the words go. Yeah. It's, that, it's so obvious. The me can see that it's obvious, but this me still is active. Uh, yes. 
the, the me is the sense of not getting it. So Jim well, on the one hand, he is getting it because it's, it, it's obvious. It is it. <laughs> <laughs> the illusion of me is it. It's as what it is, an illusion. Is there so much joy in sharing this? Whether it's you or Jim or Tony or whoever, there's a clear joy and passion in sharing that nothing's happening. <laughs> but if nothing's <laughs> happening, then but, but what can there be joy about? The joy's about nothing. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a joy and a passion there in sharing this message. At least a joy for me. There's a joy in expressing that there is nothing going on. Well, only apparently. It's not something that I've, I've enjoyed. It just seems to be joyful, yeah, to point out that there is no drama, that no one is like, yeah, but, yeah. It's about nothing, that it's not serious, but for no reason. <laughs> I can't understand it at all. Hmm. No, me too. <laughs> Of course. <clears throat> <laughs> I think joy needs a reason, I suppose. Mm. Joy yeah. has to be caused by something, but it's mm. just... It has to make sense that it's joyful. No, just not. But things can't be free if they need a reason. And Again? Things, if things need a reason, they can't just be free. Well, there's some, yeah, so to speak, yeah. So the joy is free, it doesn't Everything. need a re yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah. This does need a reason to be exactly as it is. Because this is free. In the end, for no reason. What? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> this is impossible. Yeah. Yeah, this is not whole and complete because it has to be whole and complete. It's not logical that it's whole and complete. It's not coming out of a need that this is whole and complete. It's just the uncaused natural reality. For no reason at all, this is blind perfection. Not because it has to be like that. It's a luxury in that sense. For no one? Oh, of course. It's not a luxury <laughs> for me or <laughs> Yeah, but there's no one anyway. So. <laughs> it's not holy or something. It's just in a very simple and ordinary way, whole and complete. And I want to say, and it's never otherwise, but that implies there is another time when it could and be. So to speak, you know, as if it's in time and space, and if you're whole and complete, it's a circumstance. It comes and goes. So to speak, yeah. But of course, the only thing that would say, well, this, this can't be it, is an illusion. In that sense, it's never otherwise. But it can't be known. The person would love to know this. The person would love to, to know that it's always good and that it's safe in knowing this. But this won't happen. What we talk about has nothing to do with, with the, the certainty or a conviction what the person would love about this. It's always good so I can relax. I don't need stuff like that. No, it's, as I said, it's a blind perfection. The natural reality is a blind reality. I know I said it yesterday, but this is razor sharp. The delivery of the response is just razor sharp. <laughs> it's like an arrow that just never misses the target. It's just like bang, 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 bang. Yeah. I, I dream of starting to throw knives. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Andreas, why can I stop it? <laughs> One more. <laughs> Sharpening the blade, wait for the next question. <laughs> That's why we're all silent. <laughs> Any, yeah, exactly. Any questions? No. <laughs> I'm stunned. I mean, one could say, sitting in a room is razor sharp. 
<laughs> it doesn't compromise. That's the natural reality. Nothing here compromises with itself. It's total. <clears throat> and then I, my mind just goes straight away. So what is it that's coming from there that's hitting like a razor sharp knife? There's absolutely nothing coming from here. So it's only my experience that something's coming from there to here? Yeah, I would say so, yeah. <clears throat> you feel addressed. The person feels addressed. I'm here and this is happening to me. The room, the situation, Andrea speaking. And the hope is that this has a real effect on me. Or not only the hope, it's also the suffering. Depend, depending on what happens. But oh, that's strange. I'm not doing anything or the, giving something away as the wall or anything else. Does. It feels different listening to you than just looking at the wall. Well, that's the dream. Well, no, well, it, yes, apparently it feels different, but it's equally empty, let's put it like this. But in this feeling different than talking to the wall is real and as if there's something really in there that this makes a real difference for me on my part in that sense it's equally empty as if one's more mean meaningful or useful Ex more useful exactly as if the effect that you feel is more useful for you on your part towards fulfillment that's the dream but yeah apparently it feels different yeah, apparently it feels different to walk in the sunshine to walk in the rain to be happy, to be sad, but it's all of this is equally empty and useless. <laughs> in terms of in terms of say residence in a room like this, uh, could you say that the me is a sucker for non compromise? Uh, a sucker for non compromise, eh? Because William was saying, what is it? But there's something about resonance, is there not, that the me when something is non-compromising, like razor sharp, you know, we're a sucker for that. We just lap it up. It's just not like every day. Is it? It's it's non-compromise. It's it's perfect. Yes. Or, uh, so we lap it up. That sort of the resonance yeah. of non-compromise. Well, there's something very attractive about that. If yeah. you mean that, oh yeah, totally. Because on the one hand, the person is looking for totality. Yeah. But on the other hand it can be quite scary because it would mean death. Mm. One could say the person is, is compromising, the person is the compromise in a sense of being relative. The person lives in a relative world. Everything is only relative to me and relative to each other. Nothing is totally. So the message sense. isn't relative, it's quite <clears throat> attractive. Uh, that's yeah. There is something, of course. There is something quite attractive about it, but also scary. Which is kind of the person. Which is life. There is something very attractive in life, but there is also the need to survive it and to keep it distant and under control. So in a way, how the person approaches this message is actually its approach to life how the person approaches life in general, or thinks that it has to approach it. And it is like that, it's attractive. On, on the one hand it wants more life, on the other hand it doesn't want to be eaten up by life. So, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you say the person is compromised. Well, uh, in a way. And that's how just, it's just relative. Okay. Let's put it like this, compromised. So maybe what I'm saying isn't related to that, but I always feel like I'm compromised. Like if I'm doing something, it means I'm sacrificing something else I could be doing that might give me more fulfilment, <coughs> and I have to always make a decision. So do yeah. you never feel like you're having to compromise or like missing out on something? Yes, exactly. No. There was some, what happens, what apparently happens is all there is. And that's a natural reality. There are no compromises. And apparently Andreas making compromises is the same totality. It's just what apparently happened. So what you were sharing yesterday... But there's never, sorry, there's never the impression <coughs> of doing something that brings me more fulfilment than something else. 
there is never doubting in the sense of yeah, maybe I should do this because this is more beneficial for me. This completely dropped. Yeah, because that's what I was going to ask. Like yesterday, you were talking about before you were doing every weekend away to do a talk, and mm. now you're going to have one weekend a month at home. Mm. You don't feel missing out that you could do another weekend of travelling to talk. Well, it's a bit sad, I know, but. No, <laughs> 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 no, uh, no, no, it, it just is what apparently happened. In the end, including how I feel with this. So, of course, sometimes there is, it's tempting to do another. <laughs> yeah, another one in England. To be <laughs> For example, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so, uh, there's already this conflict going on. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Which just is what apparently happened. The seeker really thinks there's a way to work this out. Yeah. A bit like what Chris was saying earlier about the person trying to think its way out of it or... This can't be it. There must be a solution. There must be a, a point where it's really good for me. This can't be it. That is the seeker's experience. And I've been asking enough things until I've nailed it to the ground. Whatever, ask enough things, meditate enough, have enough money, whatever. Yeah, one day it'll be good if I only keep on doing the right thing. Even if it's trying to not seek, whatever. That's the deep hope. This can't be it and one day it'll be good. Really good, not just those fake So goods. what about the people who really think they've got it figured out? What about them? No, because I clearly know I have not got it figured out at all. And I'm well, the to... thing is, they don't notice it. I mean, there are a lot of people who just believe that they have the answer to life, but they have to renew it again and again. But most people think that's just life, to go on living and doing things. And as long as there is the dream that I'm on the right path or that my method works out, there is actually no reason to doubt this. But it's with all those answers, it's never something that you that works one time and then you are free. And to be honest, even when I've watched those people, I can see their conviction isn't always there. It's sometimes a bit of, of hesitance in what they're saying. They're never... Oh yes, because my, in that sense most people would, would say life is a challenge or you see this in all the spiritual regions, like, um, it's always a path, it's always meditation, you have to do it, practice, it's always connected, faith has to be renewed again and again. And the answer often changes. Well, yeah. Well, one year to the next, I've been yeah, talking yeah, for like 10 years. <laughs> of course. It's... Your answer never changes, there's still no one, there never was anyone, and there's never going to be. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> I of course. No answer can't change. It's, it's equally no answer, yes. <laughs> there is no reason why there is no answer. Exactly. It's not that there is no answer, it's not the result of a, of a process. There already was no one seeking before. Yep. It's not a conclusion that one can arrive at and somehow find out, ah, there is no answer, so I can rest. That's self-inquiry, yeah. isn't it? If, for example, yes. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that There is no question, there, there is, is no conscious reality. Yeah. Yeah. I've just got this sense of what you're saying, that, you know, this, this isn't a teaching, this is a message. And then when you said a moment ago that people think that life's about achievement and that. There's so almost like um, there's almost like a constant teaching from these people, constant sort of smugness that compared with this message which is not teaching at all. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Just never realised actually it was that surrounded by teachers, this is the way you do this the way you get on with life. Oh yeah, totally. Everyone knows, but, but um, you can ask anyone, they will all come up with some kind of answer. What life is about, what's the right way to live for. Yeah. 
Do you think that's why teachers want to help because they want to feel superior to other people or at least elevate the way they feel about themselves? Well, it's not conscious, but of course they want to help in order to, whatever, for themselves, to feel good about themselves. I mean, usually teachers, they, of course, do their own practice. So they practice also what they teach. But you're not getting anything out of trying to get anything out of this. And not at all, no. So no, one, I'm not one, here. One could say that this, this is the difference between in <clears throat> order to and not. Exactly, there is no energetic in order to. There isn't one sentence yeah. said here in order to create an effect over there. And that's what in any what teaching, that, what, well, what every reality? person does constantly. What people in the world are all doing in order to. Exactly. Everything, seen from the person, that's a dream. <coughs> Nothing happens in order to, yeah. but the person dreams. I say something in order for you to understand me, for you to see me, for to make a connection. Or in a spiritual teaching, I speak in order to create an effect from you, to bring you from illusion to clarity, from less holiness to more holiness. That's what all the person's attempt is about, and to that's make a that's difference. Knack that's knackering in the long term, isn't it? Well, it, it never works. Not. It's working for something that never happens, <coughs> because no. nothing makes a difference. Mm. One could also say the search for fulfillment is this search for, for this one difference. That one thing will make the difference, will turn me from, from seeker into someone who has found. And that's what the person is constantly trying to find, to see, to create something that makes the difference. And it never works, because nothing makes a difference. No matter how you feel, no matter how the weather is, no matter how much or less money you have, nothing makes a difference, really. But that's what they are all working on constantly, desperately. And this is not happening here. As I say, not one thing happens here that I think this should, for anyone to make a step. It doesn't happen. There is no one here. Neither here, nor anywhere. <clears throat> so that's unconditional love? Everything. It's unconditionally itself. And that's whole and complete. No one doubting, no one manipulating, no one... Yeah, but it should be a bit same. more... Yeah. yeah, it's nice sitting here, but it should be a bit more aware. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay, but you should be a bit more aware. <laughs> <laughs> then it would be whole and complete. No, no it's this. And there's no one and nothing doing anything already all the time. It's free, it's whole, it's love in that sense. Yes. Let's have a break. With coffee and cake. Love it. <laughs>